previous period, we took second read. Second read goes is to understand how ideas are connected. Why did we understand how ideas are connected? In order to write, when it's your turn to write, when it's your turn to do the research uh, or the argumentative essay or a persuasive essay, you transfer from an idea to the second. How do you move? How do you move from an idea to the second idea? OK, then he wants me uh, in the third read. Third read is to reread the excerpt and then analyze it. He wants me to figure out the, evalu the, the balance. Was the excerpt balanced or not? What is balanced? Balance, we took it at the beginning of the chapter when we took the academic vocabulary. So let's see what is balanced. I will share for you the PowerPoint. Miss Neda, can I tell you something? I'm sorry for interrupting. It's OK, dear. Uh, yes, Miss, I'm sorry I didn't reply when you called me first. I had to go to the bathroom. I had an emergency. Yeah, it's OK. So, mm -hmm. so everything is well, all right now? Yeah, thank you. So I share, uh, share it. Do you see the PowerPoint? Yes, 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 yes. So we before we start to evaluate the balance, let's answer some uh, discussion question, questions will, which will lead me to understand what is uh, the a balanced uh, idea. So we took Najwa, we uh, Natalie, Natalie, question number one, Natalie. Natalie, did you answer? Did Natalie answer with me previous period? So Natalie, are you here? Is Natalie here, girls? Uh, no, Natalie is not here today. Okay, Noor Abdel Kareem. Yes, Miss. Yes, Noor. Uh, read first question, you Noor. Um, yes, miss. In your opinion, which of Ace's examples of modifying a species to suit human needs is the most ethical? Which is the least ethical? Uh, explain. Miss, I can't see. Uh, explain both of your answers. Yes. Which of Ace's examples of modifying a species to suit human needs is the most ethical? And what, which one is the least ethical? You know, what is a modification which was ethical and uh, another modification with which is uh, not ethical or unethical? What is, a, what is an ethical modification? In, in animals live, dear. Noor? Yes, miss, I'm here. What is an ethical modification in animal's life? An example? Uh, that, um, that exactly, uh, this exactly how uh, dog domestication began as a subject of intense debate. Yes, so how does, how, how it can be ethical? What is an example of modification that could be ethical? Uh, break a broken, uh, heal a broken bone. Remember? When she said that uh, in order to interfere in human's life, we can break its broken, uh, we can heal its broken bone. We can make it powerful, stronger, Right? So this is ethical because we are improving the life of this animal. Can you tell me one is 
unethical? I'm not really understanding the question. The question is, give me one example of what she said ethical and one is unethical of, of interfering in animals' life. Like you mean changing? How can I change it ethically and how can I change it unethically? Uh, like for example, using uh, technology. Yes, no, using technology for what? Uh, to merge animals' body with machines, uh, to use tiny electrodes, uh, to hijack a rat's brain, for example. Yes, so this is what, ethical or an unethical? Ethical is good ethical? dear. Ethical is good, unethical is bad. No, yes. non-ethical. Unethical, yes dear. So uh, read the answer here, he didn't give you examples, he, or he says that it ups to you. Read it dear, read the answer. Uh, I can't see it. Did you? Oh. Can you now? No, not yet, miss. Can anyone see it, girls? Yes, I can. Read it, please. Students' opinions and explanations will vary. Encourage students to clearly articulate their reasons for considering one modification ethical and the other modification unethical. Uh, so why, why Anur, you said now that it is unethical? Why the modification you talked about now is unethical? Because it's bad and not good. Yes, for the animal's life, huh? Okay. Yeah. Question, thank you, Habibti. Thank Question number two, Noor Bilal? Yes, miss. Do you think that answers tone is biased or unbiased? What words, choices or examples make you think so? Uh, what makes her biased? Biased is when you take a side of the... You know, here, remember when we took how to make a presentation in the writing, we discussed being biased. Biased is to take a side of the argument. Does she hear take a side of an argument or she is unbiased, neutral? She doesn't take a side. She presented the two ideas or the two ways of interfering and she didn't mention what, what which side she supports. She is biased because she took the side of unsupporting the uh, modification and domesticating of animal. Excellent, excellent. How did you know, Yanni? What make you that feel that way? Any the details and the details she gave to support like what? Anyone? Give me anyone. Um, we are editing their genetic codes Excellent. and uh, we have a long history of refashioning animal bodies. Excellent. Um, but here she is uh, presenting. I want something to show it's which is biased, Yani. She is against it totally. Any sentence? Uh, uh, when, it, she, uh, when she talked about the uh, electronics. Excellent. Excellent. So read the answer. Student responses will vary. Make sure they can articulate what cons uh, what constitutes either a biased or unbiased tone and can point to specific language or examples in the text that support the response. Yes. Thank you, Noor. Question three, Rima. Rima? Yes, Rima. Question three. Uh, should I read it? Yes. Yes. Which position do you think the author would agree with more, using modern scientific processes to intervene in nature or leaving nature largely alone? Um, I think that the author would agree with uh, using uh, sci scientific modification by helping the animals. Um, um, she would also be fine with us leaving them alone as long as not we're not in intervening in a bad way. 
Yes, yes. Is she supposed she's to intervene in a good way? But in a good way, help animals get stronger or help them, but not to modify uh, them genetically. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Rima. Okay, we go for note. Note is not here. Sara, Amos, Sara. Yes, Miss. Yes, read you, Sara. In order to provide a balanced presentation, an author must provide evidence supporting and criticizing an issue. Let's and this make a balanced presentation in this excerpt. In the T chart on page 340, there's the details you found that make up both sides of the discussion. Uh, did she provide a balanced presentation? Balanced present was her presentation balanced? Will you will write a presentation first? So this is can be applied to your presentation too. Is your presentation balanced or biased? An author must provide evidence supporting and criticizing an issue. She make a balanced presentation in this excerpt or not? Continue, Sara. Here. Biotechnology used for manipulating the genes of animals. You have the pros and cons. Ah. Oh. Here, she, what did she do? Here, he wants you to uh, write or tell her when she talked about the biotechnology used for manipulating the genes of animals. What is the good thing she mentioned and what is a bad thing she mentioned? Of the excerpt, go to the excerpt in the part of biotechnology used for manipulating the genes of animals and give me the pros and cons. She mentioned pros sides or the advantages of the science interference. She mentioned the manipulating the genes of animals. How can it be helpful? How biotechnology can be helpful? Should I say yes? Yes, sir. Ah, ah, okay. Uh, when she said that, the, um, yeah, that we have the power to help other species survive and thrive to create healthier, happier, and fitter creatures. So we can help them to be to have more like a better health. Th Excellent. This way, it's a it's pro. There are pros. Excellent. But for the cons, it's when she said we we use some um, turning scrawny chickens into plumper plumper birds so that we can get the eggs more eggs from them and we can benefit from them. This is very bad for their health. So it's all so they are going to be considered cons. Yes, and 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 they can by this manipulation on the of the genes, they can create monsters. Yes, can yes. create animals that we don't know what are the consequences of this. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Habibti. So, uh, Rama not here. Dana Wael. Dana Wael. Dana, I missed your participation in, in, in the period here. And Zena. Okay, note. Lina Yad. Lina Yad. Lilian. Yes, Miss. Yes, Lina Amar is here. No, this is Lilian. Okay, Lina Amar is here. Yes, Miss. Okay, so Lilian, you read for me the pros. What are the good the good side of uh, manipulation of or manipulating the genes of animals? What is a pros? Read it from the slide, dear. Um, uh, biotechnology can save people's lives, enhance the way humans live, and create pets more suited to a life of domesticity. Yes, and Lean, read the cons dear for me. Biotechnology raises some ethical questions because humans could potentially create very weak or slightly 
or sickly new animals with spliced genes, it could also set a precedent for gene manipulation in humans. Yes. So, uh, girls, you understand, girls, what we, what is the second and third read? Did you understand, girls, or not? Yes. Okay, because uh, now we will discuss the homework. What is the homework which is right, um, Jumana? Jumana? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Jumana, read the homework there on page 340. Um, choose to either the pros or cons of my technology, then using the uh, excerpt from Frankenstein's cards and your knowledge, uh, your own knowledge, try to clear and coherent uh, that supports or causes the use of biotechnology. Ah, so, so now it's your turn to write not a, not a complete, not a whole paper, write paragraphs to support or against. Do you support or oppose the use of technology, girls? Write me one paragraph, one paragraph of do you support or oppose it? Oppose the use of biotechnology. Continue, Jumana. Introduce the topic of biotechnology with a definition or, or brief explanation. Then develop your points by providing claims that are supported by examples, quotations, or facts. You uh, may, you so may here, introduce the topic of biotechnology. So you talk about the topic of biotechnology with definition or brief explanation. Then you develop your points by providing claims that are uh, supported by examples, quotations, or facts. Huh? You may do ad additional research on the internet, but only use re reliable uh, sources and record the URL as well as the name of the organization. So this could be what? This could be an idea to write a what? A research paper. A research paper, excellent. It could be an idea for a research paper. Do you oppose, but of course not oppose or uh, support. You do not say it clearly. Don't be biased. Present the two ideas. Present the two ideas. Don't be biased. Supported by examples, quotations, facts, and by additional research, you should make, uh, you should mention the sources. That we will take previous, uh, uh, previous. We will take next period in the writing period, inshallah. We will know how to write the citation by the MLA format. Okay, so this could be a good, uh, a good topic to write about if you want to start preparing the topic for your uh, research paper. Are you with me, girls? I just want you to write a paragraph for me. So must we write a paragraph whether we oppose or support the yes. reshaping these things? Yes. And another one about a pros or cons? No, no, only one. Only one, oh, okay. Yes. Thank you, miss. Only the right. Okay. Okay, we finished the third excerpt. I will stop recording.